Okay, so now we're going to learn how to use the um, same settings we talked about in the last tutorial, how to set up some certain commands to work with the Counter-Strike Source server to give us a little bit better performance and a way to kind of gauge that performance. So uh, first thing I'll do here is go ahead and issue a connect command to that server. That way we can be on the server while we're doing this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open up the console, and the first thing we want to do is op set up the net underbar graph command. I believe setting it to 1 gives us what we want. Uh, yes, okay. So you can see the, um, the current FPS of the game. You can see how much data is being sent in and out, and I think if we increase the level a bit, we may even get some more information about it. Bear with me a second. Okay, net graph one will work best for what we're doing here right now. Um, the top number you can kind of kind of see where it's off in the way bottom right, 20 over S and 30 over S below it. Those are the update and command rates for the client. So what we want to do is create something to um, to increase those values. We want to be able to configure our client for a variety of servers. And what we can do is set up binds for that. And I'll, I'll put these binds into the, um, the description section as well, but basically you want to bind to a key, so let's bind F3 is the one I use, for instance, for my first command. And we can set the rate to 25,000 put a semicolon, so we're putting multiple commands in one bind here, cl client interp 0, semicolon, cl interp underbar ratio 0, semicolon, cl update rate 67, semicolon, cl underbar command rate 67. And then close your quote. So you have bind F3, quote, rate 25,000, semicolon, CL interp 0, CL interp ratio 0, CL update rate 67, CL command rate 67. These are all the commands that you want to set on your client. I'm going to go ahead and submit that command. Now when I hit F3, the numbers change. You can see now we have 67 over S and 67 over S for both the update and command rate. Those have changed. And a little bit to the left of that, you can see the numbers fluctuating between 67, 68, that sort of thing. Those are the actual rates you're getting from the server. So if this was a 66 tick server, the um, what you'd want to use is the uh, the F3 bind. And we'll change change this up a little bit. So let's say we had an even higher performance server like a hundred tick, we can make it bind F4, so we'll have, we'll have three commands, when we're, three keys when we're done, F3, F4, and F5 on your keyboard, that'll run the game with these different options. We leave the first two the same, and the update rate will change to 101, and the command rate change to 100. Enter on that. Now you can see the actual rates coming from the server have, have jumped up as well. And this will also help out with uh, with different servers as far as the hitboxes go. You really got to experiment around, find what values work for you. I'm just trying to show these binds as an example of what you can do to make your game a little bit easier to modify and work with. And the last one, uh, for kind of medium range servers, use uh, 66 for both of these. And the interp ratio will actually set to 0 0.02. The rate will leave at 30,000 and interp at 0. And again, it modifies slightly. And you can change all these different values depending whether you're on a 33 tick server or 66 or a 100 tick. Um, and just play around with them, you know, see how your, your registration is as far as your shots go. You know, if you fire at that one guy, and you're repeatedly missing and you can't figure out why maybe it's time to change some of the values that you have because the hitbox doesn't necessarily 
it's not necessarily at the same spot that you see the player. But those are the binds. I'm going to go ahead and put these into the video description as well, so you can just copy and paste them into console, and feel free to set up your own with different command rates. It's really all about your internet connection and what it can do, so play around, see what you can figure out, and uh, until next time, thank you for watching.